practice some of the questions related to straight lines. It's a very great tool. So over here, this form is y minus y1. So I need to find out any one for it. Let's say this is zero. Okay. So if I'm going over here, it is not touching. Me. So solid point, zero comma zero. So my y1 is also zero and x1 is also zero. So that means it is passing through this point. So that's the correct answer. Let's move on to the next one. So this is y equals to mx plus c form. So I need to place this point, this minus 5 is the y-intercept. I will take this as my y-intercept minus 5. The slope is already set. So let me just check. Yeah, that's correct. Third question for the day is, so uh, set the slope. So we need to write now slope we have to set. They have fixed the y-intercept to. <clears throat> so rise over run is the slope. So how much... I we are going, let me just uh, shift this thing, yeah. So this is my two, okay, this two coordinate, zero comma two. So I'm going high one step and five step towards the right. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. This is my equation. Uh, this is my graph of this equation. Let me just check, it's perfectly correct. Now, y minus y1 and x minus x1. So over here it is positive. That means the coordinate is negative 5. So coordinate is negative 5 and negative 8. That means over here. So they have fixed it already. It's absolutely great. So 2 comma 5. So rise is 2 and 5 is run. So from here 1, 2, that's rise and run is one, two, three, four, five. So I think this should be the answer. Let me just check. Perfect. So four questions done. Let me just do two more questions. And uh, we have to set the slope for this question. So first of all, let me just go for my reference point, negative two. And let me just figure out one more point uh, where I can place this thing. Yeah, here it is. So from this point, how much rise I'm going? One, two, three. Okay. So one, two, three. And from here on the right hand side, two, two steps. So two, I think this should be the answer. Perfect. Last question for this particular video. So in this one, uh, we need to find out the y-intercept. It's very simple. Y-intercept is over here. Y-intercept is the easiest to fall. That's one, positive one. So that's my question. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe for more such videos, for more such practice questions. Always pause the video when I'm answering. Okay.